There's a pretty big difference in price and they look the same. So how do you know which version of Oticon Real to buy? Well, I'll make it very easy for you. The first thing to decide is whether you want the rechargeable or battery version. As you can see, most of our customers choose the rechargeable model. Uh, the batteries easily last all day, charging is simple, and it's more convenient than changing batteries once a week. Through zip hearing, the price is the same whether you get the rechargeable model or the one with batteries, and the performance is the same as well. The only difference is how they're powered, so just go with whatever sounds more convenient to you. Once you know which of those two models you want, the only thing left to decide is which tech level or quality level to get, whether that's the real one, two, or three. Overwhelmingly, our customers choose real one, and that's because our customers tend to be a bit younger than the average hearing aid buyer. Uh, a lot of our customers are still very active, still working, and really need hearing aids that can keep up with their lifestyles, particularly in noisy environments like restaurants. And that's the biggest benefit of getting the real one. Uh, out of the three models that has the most noise suppression, and that's a feature that really helps distinguish speech as compared to annoying background sounds that you don't wanna hear. Uh, so if you're active, if you're in noise a lot and you struggle in noise, you should probably get real one. If you're not in noisy situations very often or you don't particularly struggle in noise, but you're still somewhat active, like not just hanging around the house all day, uh, then real two is probably gonna make more sense and it'll be quite a bit cheaper. Uh, if you're just buying hearing aids to primarily hear better around the home, um, talking in small conversations, kind of one-on-one, -on -one, watching TV, uh, and if you're more of like a homebody, then Real 3 is gonna be the better option for you. Now, I've greatly oversimplified the differences between each tech level. There's more to it than just how much noise reduction they provide, but I think that's the uh, most noticeable and, and most significant difference between each level. If you wanna see all the differences, uh, on Zip Hearing's website, there's a chart that compares each tech level. So if you're watching this video on YouTube, you can just click there to view that chart. Or if you're already on Zip Hearing's website, just scroll down the page to see the chart. Of course, choosing the correct tech level is a discussion that you should have in person with your hearing provider. Uh, and you'll do that with your Zip Hearing provider prior to ordering anything. You know, they'll do a test, review the results with you, um, talk to you about your lifestyle, your budget, uh, and help you settle on the tech level that's gonna make the most sense for you. Uh, and ultimately, you're on a trial period. So if you select the tech level, um, try it for a little bit, and you're just not sure it's right for you, it's no big deal. You can try out another tech level for a while and experience the difference for yourself. If you have any questions about this, you're welcome to give me a call right here. I'm happy to answer any questions you might have without a sales pitch uh, and just give you my opinion on which tech level might be appropriate for you. If this video helped you, hit the like button, and I will see you on the next one.